right now we're focusing on his mortal mission. Okay. And I think there are at least two aspects of that that, that we need to keep in mind. Let's, uh, let's look at what we actually learn in the Book of Mormon about it, and then we'll see an echo in the New Testament. But Nephi says this so clearly if we go to 2 Nephi 31, and we're in verse 9. And in some ways he's talking about baptism here, but he's talking about more than baptism. It's a, it's a principle. So in, in 2 Nephi 31, verse 9, And again, it showeth unto the children of men the straightness of the path and the narrowness of the gate by which they should enter, he having set the example before them. And he said unto the children of men, Follow me. Right? So this is part of Christ's mission is to set the example for us that we learn how to act and what to do by, by following Christ's example. And that will tie into that second part of his mission, which is also that, that he suffers for us to make up for when we don't follow his example very okay. well. And, and I think Peter speaks about that very powerfully. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. So you see he's got both parts there. He suffered for us, and he left an example of how we can follow him. We follow his example. That's what we're supposed to do, but sometimes we go astray. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness that by his stripes we are healed. And that's, that's hearkening back to Isaiah, right. right? But by his stripes we are healed so that he, as a, our bishop, can change our souls so that we live again and, and can overcome death and our own uh, lack of following his example or otherwise called sin. <laughs>